I have a second channel and I'm gonna be uploading MLB The Show 22 content on it. So if you don't wanna miss out on that, go down in the description down below and go subscribe to it. I'll be giving away a copy of the MLB The Show or Madden 22 to one of my first thousand subscribers. So go get down there, it's gonna be lit. And speaking of lit, let's get into this video, baby. I love you so much. If you guys are in need of coins, buy them for the 100% cheapest price possible with EasyMutt.com for the fastest delivery. Use code DOM for 5% off of each order at checkout and get to building that team that you've always wanted. Alright gentlemen, I'm gonna go over what the best cards for the Easter promo could be. I think this promo could be insane. Last year it was absolutely incredible. There was golden tickets. I mean, there, it was an insane promo last year and they had so many surprises. So I'm fully expecting tons of surprises this year. It's gonna be hype and I want to prepare you guys for it. So let's get into the Easter predictions and who I think is going to get cards and what I think you guys should do to prepare for this promo if you have enough coins to do so. If you don't have enough coins, you're probably still going to be able to take part in a ton of this promo. It'll just be harder to get the rarer eggs. And if you don't know what eggs are, I'll get into it in a minute. So just, just be prepared. Also hit that like button, because I love you a lot. Now first things first, let's take a look at some guys that need upgrades in the game as we speak. Um, so let's go first and four no most. A guy that I love, one of my favorite cards in Madden every single year is Patrick Peterson. His last card came out a couple of months ago for the Ghost of Madden Pass promo. He got a 95 overall. Obviously, he's one of the better cornerbacks in all of Madden. He always balls out. His cards are glitchy as hell. He is an absolute demon. And Patrick Peterson cards just always just play above their stats even. Like, this card right here, 94 speed, 94 press, all that stuff. I still have him in my starting lineup. He is just that good. He always picks the ball off. He is always covering well. He's one of the very few defenders I've used in this game that's actually game changing, which is why I'm considering him for my golden ticket. If you guys didn't know, I'm making a golden ticket. You guys are helping me, so go check out the last video I posted. It's you make my golden ticket. You guys vote on it and everything. So go, ahead, go watch it. Go hit the like button on that video and uh, get into the algorithm to help it out a little bit so we get more votes on uh, the cards and stuff. And then I'll be making the final announcement of our golden ticket choice later this week or early next week. It just depends on when the forms come out to fill out for the golden tickets. But Patrick Peterson, absolute demon of a card. He deserves an upgrade. He's one of the best cornerbacks of the 2000s. So I'm really hoping he gets a card with this promo. Another guy who hasn't gotten an upgrade in a while is Barry Sanders. Now, he got this for the Bo Nose promo back in December, I believe it was. So around the same time that Patrick Peterson got his upgrade, um, he got his right outside linebacker card for the you know Backyard Ballers promo pretty recently, but that's not a halfback card, obviously. So Barry still needs his upgrade. He's a 5'8", 203 pound monster. He, he, he towers over the likes of Kyler Murray, who is 4'8", in case you guys didn't know. I actually measured him in person, pause. Um, but, card is good. Obviously, Barry Sanders cards always play great for tons of people. He has 93 break tackle, 94 change of direction. If this card was boosted to a 99, you would see 99 overall stats on just about all of this stuff right here, like speed, excel, agility, change of direction, break tackle. And then he has decent enough trucking. He doesn't have that Chris Johnson trucking where it's like getting hit by a feather or a napkin. Um, so, the card will be super juiced if we did get one, and he has decent catching stats as well. Another guy who needs a big upgrade is Marshawn Lynch. Now, he got his for the Super Bowl. He didn't even get a master, though. He got a 95 set card, which was pretty ass in my opinion. But if you were to get an upgrade, obviously his trucking is out of this world. His brake tackle is incredible. His change direction is solid. His agility is decent. But his speed is actually really good. So if he got a 98, he'd probably have 97, 98 speed, which would obviously be 99 on a theme team or just 99 fully powered up, card would go off. The card would absolutely pop off. So I'm really hoping he gets a card here soon. I was considering him for a golden ticket, but with how many uh, running backs are coming out, there's no point in making one. Maybe someone will make one out there that you know has pulled one and not announced anything or not gotten help from a YouTuber. So I'm hoping that happens, but Marshawn Lynch, great card. He deserves an upgrade without a doubt in my mind. Now, a guy who deserves the biggest upgrade probably would be Lamar Jackson. He's obviously one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL and one of the most exciting players to watch in the NFL. 
and he hasn't gotten an upgrade in forever. I don't even remember where this Redux is from. I think it was from the Blitz promo, if I remember correctly. So that was November, like five months ago. So this card would be an absolute demon at 98, 99 overall. He'd have 99 speed. He'd have probably 96, 97 throw power, depending on how much they juice it. He'd hit every single threshold for throwing accuracies. He'd have probably 95 throw under pressure, 96, somewhere like that. 96, 97 throw on the run, 99 play action. I mean, the card would be juiced, absolutely juiced. Look at that Michael Vick uh, Ultimate Legend and then think a little bit better because one, right-handed domination. And on top of that, he'd be a little bit faster Probably not as good of a throw animation, if I remember correctly. I can't remember which one has the better throw animation, but I'd assume it's Mike Vick because his, his his motion is just like butter. It is so smooth. It is beautiful to watch. Um, he'd probably have less throw power, though, but everything else, he'd be incredible. I mean, he has 94 break sack on 93 card, 91 break tackle on 93. Those would be in the high 90s. Pretty much every single stat you see here would be in the high 90s, so... Uh, Lamar Jackson for the Easter promo would be absolutely cracked and I really need it to happen. Bit of an underrated and out of left field choice here, but AJ Green also deserves an upgrade. I think this card came out in maybe October, so it's been even longer for him to have gotten an upgrade. It would be really, really good fully powered up though. He's six foot four, so he's tall enough to moss people. He's got good speed, probably at 99 speed on, you know, just powering him up. And then he also has great spec catch. He's got great deep route running. I mean, you look at these stats and you think they're bad, but this is on a 91 card. So just think of them all elevated up to a 98 or 97 overall card, or maybe even a 99. And you'll see just how good this card is probably going to be. He has really good ball carry stats as well with the, you know, the 85 change direction, the 86 carrying, the spin move, the juke move are both really good. So. An AJ Green would make a lot of sense, so I would really like it to happen. Another dude from the Super Bowl promo is Tyron Matthew, who still hasn't chosen a team yet. I was expecting him to be in a free agent promo, but he's not, so Easter promo makes a ton of sense. Tyron Matthew obviously is short, but like I don't even care. Like His cards always do great for me. If he gets an upgrade, I'll 100% get it, fully powered up all the way. But he has 93 man, 96 zone on a 95 strong safety card. So you'd be able to put him in the slot if you wanted to, and he'd play perfectly fine. Uh, what is his press? His press is going to be, where the hell is it at? His press is 91. So yeah, I mean, everything about this card is really good. Boosted up to a 98, 99 overall, and he'll be out of this world. The only dip bad thing about him is his height, but you can't change that. So I don't know what to tell you. I'm all for tall people domination, but at the same time, you gotta respect the short kings, and he is one of them. And a dude who hasn't gotten an upgrade in forever is George Kittle. He got this in early December for week 13. Um, obviously, he's one of the best tight ends in the NFL right now. He's great at receiving, he's great at blocking, he does everything well. Uh, so, he needs to get an upgrade for sure. 100% can see him getting an Easter card or maybe like a, a draft card of some sort when that promo comes around here in a few weeks, but Easter is sooner. So I'm expecting hopefully a George Kittle for you know one of the cards in this promo. It would be great to have one. I'm sure Niners fans would love it. They've been using Vernon Davis for forever now, who is a great card and also deserves an upgrade, but George Kittle needs one more and he's a current player. So I'm assuming people would want him more. He's got good juke move. Got good impact blocking. His ball carry vision, his stiff arm, you know, his spin is absolute ass, but his trucking is good and his run blocking is good. So a George Kittle card would ball out for sure. So I'm really expecting him to get a card here just because it's been so long since he got his last one. He's such a big player in the NFL. And then another team of the week card, this is from week 10 of this season, is Patrick Mahomes. Now, I'm gonna guess an out of left field guess here. But if they do another golden ticket this year, I'm going to guess it'll be Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson in that super rare egg pack. That is just a big, big assumption and a big guess here. But both those guys need upgrades. Lamar's a 93, Patrick is a 94. So how sick would it be if their next big card is a golden ticket in the Easter packs? It would be the best quarterback in the game for a while, best card in the game for a while. And on top of that, it would obviously be super wanted, so it would be super high in price. I could definitely see EA doing that, and in my opinion, it would be sick. 
just because we've never gotten a Patrick Mahomes golden ticket before. We've gotten a, um, a Lamar Jackson one before in Madden 20, but that was the last one. And uh, he's obviously gotten one in Madden 18 as well, so he's had two. Patrick has only had, well, Patrick is at zero. I don't know why I said only. He's never had one. Um, but Patrick or Lamar golden ticket, that is like my random... Super out of left field, long shot Hail Mary of a guess. And if I somehow get it right, you guys have to come back to this video and clip this part right here and say, damn Dom, you are an absolute genius. Either way guys, we're seeing all the Easter cards revealed tomorrow. So let me know your guesses right now. And if you made this front of the video, comment down below, ravioli, ravioli. Yes, okay, I don't know what to say now. I feel awkward, goodbye. It means no one.